Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Quiz 6. This quiz topic is Azure Virtual Missions. We have about 20 questions and each question has multiple choice answers. Let's start the quiz. Question one. Suppose you want to run a network appliance on a virtual machine. Which workload option should you choose? A general purpose, B compute optimized, C memory optimized, D storage optimized. Option B is the right answer. Compute optimized virtual machines are designed to have a high CPU to memory ratio. Suitable for medium traffic web servers, network appliances, batch processes, and application server. Question two, true or false? Resource manager templates or JSON files, true or false? Resource manager templates or JSON files that define the resources you need to deploy for your solution. The template can then be used to easily recreate multiple versions of your infrastructure, such as staging and production. Answer is true. Question three, true or false? For security reasons, you must use an image from the official Azure marketplace when creating a new virtual mission. True or false? Answer is false. Azure lets you configure your virtual missions to meet your needs. This includes support for using your own virtual mission images. Question four. What is the effect of the default network security settings for a new virtual mission? A, neither outbound nor inbound requests are allowed. B, outbound requests are allowed. Inbound traffic is only allowed from within the virtual network. C, there are no restrictions. All outbound and inbound requests are allowed. Option B is the right answer. Outbound requests are considered low risk so they are allowed by default. Inbound traffic from within the virtual network is allowed. By placing a virtual mission in a virtual network, the virtual mission owner is implicitly opting into communication among the resources in the virtual network. Question five. Suppose you have several Linux virtual missions hosted in Azure. You will administer these virtual missions remotely over SSH from three dedicated missions in your corporate headquarters. Which of the following authentication methods would typically be considered best practice for this situation? A, username and password. B, private key. C, private key with passphrase. Option C is the right answer. Private key access with the passphrase is the most secure option. Even if an attacker acquires your private key, they will be unable to use it without the passphrase. Question six. When creating a Windows virtual mission in Azure, which port would you open using the inbound port rules in order to allow remote desktop access? A, HTTPS, B, SSH, C, RDB. RDP. Option C is the right answer. The remote desktop protocol uses port 3389 by default. So this port is the standard port you would open if you wanted to use an RDB client to administer your Windows virtual machine. Question seven. Suppose you have an application running on a Windows virtual mission in Azure. What is the best practice guidance on where the app should store data files? A, the voice disk, B, the temporary disk, C, an attached data disk. Option C is the right answer. 
dedicated data disk are generally considered the best place to store application data files. They can be larger than OS disk and you can optimize them for the cost and performance characteristics appropriate for your data. Question eight, what is the final rule that is applied in every network security group? A, allow all, B, deny all, C, you configure the final rule to your needs. Option B is the right answer. Deny all is a safe choice. It will block all traffic that you don't specifically allow. Question nine, suppose you are an administrator of several Azure virtual machines. You get a text message indicating some problems with your virtual machines. You are at a friend's house and only have your tablet with you. True or false? You will still be able to access the Azure CLI using the tablet, even though you can't install the CLI on it. True or false? The Azure Cloud Shell is available in the browser and runs with the full Azure CLI. If you prefer PowerShell, the Azure Cloud Shell has that as well. Here is the right answer, true. Question 10. Suppose you have a script that creates several virtual machines with different images. When the script issues the command to create first virtual machines, you do not want to block the script while this, the VM is created. Instead, you want the script to immediately move on to the next command. What is the best way to do this? A, add the async argument to your create command. B, use the ampersand to run the process in the background. C, add the no wait argument to your create command. Adding no wait will cause Azure virtual mission create to return immediately without waiting for the virtual mission to actually be, actually be created. Option C is the right answer. Question 11. Most Azure commands return JSON by default. Sometimes this data set can be very large which makes it difficult to read and tricky to use the result of one command as input to another command. What can you use with Azure CLI to filter the results to get only the data that you need? A, you can use the query argument. B, you can use the filter argument. C, you can pipe the results to a JSON parsing utility and use filtering capability there. Option A is the right answer. All Azure commands support the query argument, which lets you select the usable data in any Azure command response. Question 12. You need to connect Azure resources like Azure virtual missions across geographical regions. Which Azure networking option should you choose? A, Azure Express Route. B, VPN Gateway. C, Virtual Network. Peering. Use virtual network peering to connect virtual networks to each other. So resources in either virtual network can communicate with each other. The virtual networks you connect can be in different Azure regions. Option C is the right answer. Question 13. For a point to site, Azure VPN Gateway, what are the key parameters that you must specify when you create it? A, gateway type is VPN and VPN type is route based. B, gateway type is VPN, VPN type is route based and you need to specify a gateway queue. C, subnet is a gateway subnet and gateway type is VPN. Option B is the right answer. Use the PowerShell commandlet new iPhone AZ virtual network gateway where you use parameters gateway type VPN and VPN type route based. Also set the gateway skew to the SKU that meets your organization's 
network requirement option b is the right answer question 14 which peering configuration would you use for your express route circuit where you need to allow direct connection to azure compute resources a azure virtual network peering b azure private peering c microsoft field peering option b is the right answer azure private peering lets you directly connect to virtual machines and cloud services on their private ip addresses option b is the right answer question 15 which protocol provides dynamic routing for azure express route a ipvpn b border gateway protocol c st option b is the right answer border gateway protocol is an industry standard dynamic routing protocol that can exchange routes between your on-premises network your instances in azure and microsoft public addresses question 16 when you enable azure disk encryption on a windows virtual machine what does it use to encrypt the data on your virtual hard disk a dm crypt b bitlocker See Azure keyword. Option B is the right answer. Windows virtual machines are encrypted using BitLocker. Option B is the right answer. Question 17. To use Azure to use Azure keyword with ADE, what policy do you need to set? A configure an access policy to permit at least one security principle. B. Create an access policy to allow template deployment. C. Set the keyword access policy to support disk encryption. Option C is the right answer. You must set the access policy on the Azure keyword to allow disk encryption with AD. Question 18. Suppose you create a new virtual machine with a single OS disk and a single data disk. You use the default options when you create the virtual machine. You don't have an Azure key wall set up in your subscription. Which option most accurately describes the encryption state of those disks? A. Both disks are unencrypted. B. The OS disk is encrypted using storage service encryption. The data disk is unencrypted. See, both disks are encrypted using storage service encryption. Option C is the right answer. All disks are encrypted using SSE by default. With SSE, Azure manages the keys and automatically decrypts the data for any read operations without impact on performance. Option C is the right answer. Question 19. You want to track the average CPU usage of your Azure virtual machine over the last seven days. What is the most straightforward way to do this? A. View the metrics for the virtual machine on the overview page and set the range to the last seven days. B. View the metrics for the virtual machines each day and store the values for each of the last seven days in a spreadsheet. C. View the metric in the monitor section by creating a graph and set the range to the last seven days. Option A is the right answer. The overview page displays this graph by default. You can set the range to show a seven day range. Option A is the right answer. Question 20. What do you have to install or create to store simple boot? diagnostics in azure a install the azure diagnostics extension b you don't have to install or create anything additional to store diagnostic logs in azure c an azure storage account option c is the right answer you need a storage account to store boot diagnostics data the boot screenshots and logs option c is the right answer 
we completed quiz six. Thank you.